What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. And today we're going to talk about the big game against the 49ers and those Baltimore Ravens. Who will win it Christmas Day? What is up? Who will win this game, man? I really, really want to indulge in this topic because, man, this is a... uh, I know that it looks like the 49ers are the most dominant team in the NFL right now. That is very true. They look like legit, right? But what's what what does the NFL do very well? They figure you out. And once the blueprint is out on how to win against any team in the NFL, all the teams do is look at the tape and get more creative with how to stop it and how to run audibles against an offense or defense to win a game. That's the name of the game. You will get figured out. And I think, I think that the Ravens have the coach, John Harbaugh. The quarterback, Lamar Jackson, the fan base, although they're going on the road, I believe, I think that the Baltimore Ravens can figure out a strategy, a strategic way to stop the 49ers. I don't see this game being a blowout. I see a lot of people making posts about how the 49ers are going to blow these Baltimore Ravens out, but it is very hard to game plan for Lamar Jackson, man. This dude is electricity, man very 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 electric man like i i don't know guys i think that i'm gonna go with the ravens on this one uh simply because i'm in the nfc right uh i am rooting for lamar jackson to win the whole super bowl that's my super bowl pick i feel like lamar jackson gets a lot of scrutiny i think that he's always criticized i think that people always have something to say about this guy uh but he just goes on the field and show you why he's the mvp why he won an MVP? He just got he he just shows his heart. You know what I'm saying? The guy is a remarkable talent, and he's just he doesn't get the credit I believe he deserves. Man, they say that this guy cannot throw. This guy can throw. It's not the prettiest, but it looks like he's flicking it. But it goes so far. I don't know what type of throwing style it is, but I do know this: it works. It works. Yes, he doesn't have Mark Andrews. I saw a report where Mark Andrews was seen in the locker room after practice, though. So, hey, that could be a good thing, right? Maybe he could be out there as a decoy. Uh, But that other tight end they have, he stepped up, and I like him. He's more athletic to me, seems like. Uh, Yes, they lost. The Ravens and the 49ers play a very physical style, and they lose a lot of key players in key moments. That's what hurts them and though it's the nfl around this time man there's injuries everywhere this is a very physical game i just think that man like hey you gotta strategize you 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 gotta strategize on how to stop uh lamar jackson and i think that with the ravens defense they can develop a pass rush that can get to brock purdy and throw his timing off yes he's not easily rattled but it's a difference when you go against a different caliber type of defense in the defenses and this type of defense can raise their game. You see what I'm saying? Like, if they know the moment, they, they you saw the reports of what's the safety? The safety, I forget his name, but he came out and said that the Ravens felt disrespected because they're underdogs. I just think that it all boils down to heart and who really wants it. And they say that whoever wins is, is going to be the one that wins it all. I don't believe in that. It's the NFL. Anything can happen. Bad teams can catch fire and win a championship, get into the wild card, anything can happen. Well, on the other side, you got Brock Purdy and the gauntlet of, oh my goodness, Debo Samuels. Debo Samuels, I hate what you did to my Philadelphia Eagles. I hate you so damn much that I gotta just love you, bro, because you are that dude. Debo Samuels is that dude. I'm sorry. This dude, he's all legs, but so, so violent. You know what I'm saying? There's few people who run like him. Cordell Patterson and on the uh, Atlanta Hawks, I think this is his name. Is it Cordell? I can't remember, but I know his last name is Patterson. Pacheco on the Kansas City Chiefs. These type of players, they run so mad, aggressively, and angry as if as if something. It's like they purposely put a chip on their shoulder, which is probably what they do to go out there and ball the way they do. So, Debo Samuels, man, we all know George Kittle is a phenomenal tight end run pass block he does it all christian mccaffrey goodness gracious they can say all day is brock purdy with his mvp i don't give a damn if it's brock purdy or christian mccaffrey honestly but christian mccaffrey 
definitely deserves it a little bit more than Brock Purdy. Let's just be honest. And what the 49ers are able to do, man, that defense, man, that Fred Warner, this, first of all, Trent Williams, oh my goodness. It's just, even just listing the names of the 49ers make you have doubt. But hey, you can go against a giant a lot of times, but it's all about your heart. And if the Ravens lock in and take it one play at a time, there's no doubt in my mind that I don't, that I think, at least I think that they don't come out this game with the W. Like I do. I believe that they can and I believe that they are capable. I think that these coaches are phenomenal. Kyle Shanahan is very, very creative. John Harbaugh is the Harbaugh brothers, the whole family tree. They're geniuses. Uh, from Michigan to all the way to the pros with the Baltimore Ravens. They just, they're pretty good coaches, man. And I think that, I think this is going to be an exciting game, but I'm going to take the Ravens. Uh, I want you guys to weigh in on this topic and let me know who you believe is going to win as i'm going to pick the ravens a lot of you guys are going to pick the 49ers i'm sure uh and this would definitely help the nfc with the seating if the 49ers were to lose and i'm, I'm telling you guys the 49ers lose this game they still got to go against those rams and those rams have caught fire i'm a little hey i would be surprised if the rams could beat them too hey anything can happen it's the nfl so you guys weigh in weigh in on this topic if you are a 49ers fan a baltimore ravens fan Brock Purdy, I, I actually follow Brock Purdy, even though he destroyed my Eagles. I follow Brock Purdy because outside of sports, I like individual people for who they are. He's just an underdog, and I always root for underdogs, just not in this game because Lamar Jackson is looked at as an underdog all the time. But I do like Brock Purdy, man. I follow this guy. I think that he's a great, great quarterback. He has a great head on his shoulder. A guy who's just grateful to be where he is in the position he's in. And I really, really can relate to that. So you guys weigh in on this topic, man. 49er fans, Baltimore Raven fans, who's going to win this game, man? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Let me know how you guys feel. Like always, let me know how you charge the game. Peace.